Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN, the Crazy Troll Network of YouTube. Or is it the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube? I guess it could be either or since I made it up anyway. <laughs> if you have been here before, thank you for coming back. If this is your first time, welcome. My name is Dion. It is a pen name I use for my writing and for my websites. This video is for the unboxing of BoxyCharm. I checked my mail today and it was in there. Today is... Sorry about that. Today is October 10th. I will upload, I will schedule this video to upload on the 11th. I really have no idea what is in this box. I didn't keep up with um, any of the spoilers and I haven't been watching YouTube videos on unboxings. And so I'm going to be surprised. So open it up and the pamphlet is way bigger and more papers. I wonder if they're all the same. I have three papers in here. Let me put my reading glasses on so I can read it. The theme is, oh, you know what? I didn't know that Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette was going to be in here. That was the only thing. BoxyCharm Variation number two. All of these are the exact same. I don't know why I have three. The theme is... <clears throat> excuse me after dark and on the front it says flip over I can actually read off of one of my extras <laughs> at the bottom over here it says flip over for a bigger boxy charm I did not upgrade to the $35 box and if you guys have been on YouTube you know that there is the current $21 box and then there's a, I believe a $35 box and then there's um oh my gosh my my brain just froze then there's the boxy Lux. So that has not changed. BoxyCharm 2.0. Instead of $21, it'll be $25 a month and the value will be over $125. Starting November 1st, you will be able to customize your box. You will be able to choose at least one item in your box. Boxy Lux will be able to choose one to three items. You will be able to pay for add-ons and you're also eligible for boxy pop-up so that's the boxy charm 2.0 information so let's just get into this box and see what is in here and I guess I should keep the paper so I can read the information I am scattered I had just like a little bit of water today when I took my allergy medicine this morning I have not eaten I'm dehydrated I'm hungry I just came back from getting my hair cut and I had this box I said let me just do this and get it over with why did I say all of that because that's the crazy of the TCTN. So we have <laughs> Touch of Soul, Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm, an ultra hydrating priming skin balm with a sensationally smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. It retails for $32. I was gonna open it this way because usually the smaller part is the lid, but it's not unless I'm just really backwards. No, so yeah, it opens this way. And if I can get my nubby nail under here. It has a fragrance. I'm sensitive to fragrance for those of you who are new and don't know that. And so it's not super strong, so I might be able to use it. I will try it and see, and hopefully I will not have a reaction. Some products break me out. Some products, um, just in general, some products break me out. My skin is very temperamental. Um, my sensitivity to fragrance is my nose may itch, my eyes may tear, my eyes may water, um, my eyes may itch also. I may like have breathing problems. I have asthma and I have allergies. And so when there's heavy fragrance in items, it is a no-no for my face. But it doesn't smell really strong, so I will actually try that. Glassy Skin Balm. We will see. The next product I'm going to pull out of here is the Iconic London Lip Plumping Gloss. I don't think I need plumper lips, so I will not be using this. And plus, I'm looking at the color, and I don't think this would be a good color for me. So I will figure out who to give this to who thinks they want their lips to be plumper and who likes this color. Retails for $26. Iconic lip plumping glasses are the ultimate combo of non-sticky gloss and plumping power. I don't want plump. The high shine formula, blah, 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 blah. So that's that. So that's going to be given away definitely. The next thing I'm pulling out of here. 
Chella, I believe, C-H-E-L-L-A, slanted tip tweezers. I do have a set of tweezers I currently use and I've had them. There's a piece of tape on here that I'm trying to open. Um, I do have a set of tweezers I've been using for years, probably for like over five years that I have and that I love and that are also slanted. So I don't know, I cannot get this out of there. <laughs> that looked weird, didn't it? I'm trying to get this out of this plastic. So I don't know if I'm going to try these. The shape is definitely different. I have never seen tweezers shaped like that before with the circle in the middle. These retail for $20 and I will figure out, oh, you know what I might do? I might leave these in my travel, my makeup travel caboodle. The next thing I'm going to pull out of here <clears throat> and it's wrapped in bubble wrap, which is nice in case it happened to leak, which it did not. The Skin and Company Truffle Therapy Aqua Illuminating Vizio, Fizo. Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refreshing Mist Radiant Dew. So that's what this is. And this retails for $35. Truffle Therapy Radiant Dew is a hydrating mist formulated to soothe, protect, and illuminate the skin. Enriched with antioxidant, enriched with antioxidant rich. That is what it really says. Smoothing and detoxifying botanicals such as black winter truffle, rosemary, ginger, peppermint, and a word I can't pronounce, rose. This refreshing mist encourages a radiant complexion while rebalancing skin's pH level, tightening pores, and setting makeup. I'm going to try this right now. Um, well, you know what? Let me smell it first. It does smell like peppermint. I have nothing on my face, as I'm sure you have noticed. <laughs> So my forever bags are like, hey, what's up, YouTube? I am always sweating. So I'm going to spray it here first just to prime it. Oh, okay. It definitely smells like peppermint. The mist is very fine. It feels good. But now I don't really smell the peppermint. I don't feel any tingling, which is great. The smell went away really quickly, which is awesome. And I have been using sprays lately. I had, I don't know if I showed it in, in another video or not, but it was a coconut, not a coconut, a cucumber something. But I only use it when I'm in the mood for fragrance because the smell lingers. And so what I have been using on a semi-regular basis is um, the Avion mineral water spray. And so I am, I am happy to get this and I will continue to try this. Well, continue to use it because I did just try it. It does dry down really quickly. It doesn't feel refreshing anymore. The coolness of the spray, it felt refreshing. But then once you spray it, it's like I didn't spray it. It doesn't feel sticky or anything. So we'll see. I'll keep using it and see. The last thing on the box is the dose of colors. I like that they put everything in bubble wrap because it seems like... I don't seem to remember them putting things in bubble wrap like this before. This is Balanced Browns. And what does it say? This retails. Let me back up. Did I say this retails for 35 I think I did. If I did, I said it again. The Dosa Colors Eyeshadow Palette. Five pan matte eyeshadow palette with a mixture of shades. This palette is a great way to add boldness and vibrance to your eye looks. And this retails for $32. I will add up the prices of these and put it somewhere in the video. But you know, it's something kind of shook and jiggled. And so I was like, oh, I hope nothing's cracked. But it was the plastic, um, the plastic piece between the mirror and the shadows, and this has smudges on it. So I'm wondering, like, I I want to say I don't think it's used. It comes with this little tiny tiny brush. I don't know. I'll try it. I don't know. We'll put it in my makeup travel caboodle. This side, it's like a pencil brush on this side. So this might be good for in the corner or 
um, to use one of these shadows or any shadow as an eyeliner and also for underneath your lower lash line. This side, I don't know what this side would be good for. Maybe for like the, um, the inner corner of your lid, maybe. But it's a really, really thin brush. This is what, this entire side is a mirror. This is what the shadows look like. And what I was looking at was how there's like a smudge here and that's the main smudge but then there is there is like a small smudge around this shade like here and right here there's a smudge but that's what I was looking at to see if this was possibly used so under here there's smudges and around this shade on the black part there's smudges the shadows themselves do not look touched I'm not really sure I'm, 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 I'm really wondering about this one here, but I know these, I believe these do just come straight from the factory, but then that's not to say if things don't get returned, it goes back to the factory. I don't know if these were made exclusively for BoxyCharm or not. I do like the colors. I think these will go nice with my skin tone, except this one, I don't think maybe as a brow highlight for this one, but I'm glad that I got this one, which is again, baked browns because these colors will show up on me. These two probably for transition shades or inner corner shades. This one definitely probably only for brow highlight, which in person is tan. Well, like a really, 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 really light tan or light khaki where it seems to showing up white on camera. These two may be for um, lid and then my crease or to do my lid and smoke it out with this and have a smoky look. And so I will definitely try this palette. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you're thinking of BoxyCharm. Let me know what you're thinking about the changes that they're making. Are you going to upgrade to the $35 box? Or are you going to stick with the traditional $21, now $25 box starting November? What products you like? Um, what products you didn't like? Are you excited for these changes or not? And also, I did get an Ipsy Glam Plus um, subscription for the first time last month and I liked it but I'm debating do I want to keep these subscription subscription boxes only because I purchased a, quite a few eyeshadow palettes during the Sephora 20% off sale and last month there was an eyeshadow palette in both BoxyCharm and Ipsy and this, this is another eyeshadow palette so I'm like do I want to keep getting eyeshadow palettes and my following is not that large for me to want to keep doing giveaways because then it'll be the same people just receiving the same stuff and so I'm debating whether or not to keep the subscriptions even though I am liking the products it just gets to a point for me where it's like okay I have enough stuff and so anyway thank you guys for watching let me know what you think about the boxes and just for giggles hmm it feels really good going on and then after maybe like 20 seconds, it's like I never sprayed it. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. You'll see me in the next video.